All right, let's pivot to the other big news of the day. This is actually incredibly exciting. There's a Cleveland Clinic doctor who for two decades now has been working on a breast cancer vaccine. They are ready to take this into human trials now. This is something you've been covering since the inception of it, right? Or you at know, least the, the, the light bulb moment. You know, it's so interesting because this is like, I, I've, I've managed to see this research from the beginning till now. And, you know, not only could this vaccine save lives, but it could be the key to preventing several types of cancer. Dr. Vincent Tui spent years creating a vaccine to prevent the deadliest and most aggressive type of breast cancer, triple negative. Tuesday, Cleveland Clinic vaccinated the first patient in a phase one clinical trial. This vaccine is designed to prompt the immune system to destroy the tumor as it emerges and prevent it from growing. The vaccine targets a lactation protein called A-lactobumin, typically present in triple negative breast cancer, or TNBC. This phase one trial funded by the Department of Defense is designed to determine the dose and schedule of the vaccine. And TNBC represents about 15% of all breast cancers. Triple negative breast cancers account for a disproportionate higher percentage of breast cancer deaths. Twice as likely to occur in African-American women. 80% of the breast tumors that occur in women with mutations in the BRCA1 gene are triple negative. They hope to recruit two dozen women who've already gone through TNBC treatment and are at high risk for recurrence. Stages two to three, ER negative, PR negative, HER2 negative. They will have, must have completed all standard treatment, be free of disease, and be within uh, three years of starting treatment. Patients will receive three shots two weeks apart and be monitored for side effects and immune response. The study will complete in September next year. While this is just the first phase, the hope is that it's also the beginning of the end to certain cancers. Our ultimate aim is to develop a 21st century primary vaccination program that prevents diseases that we confront with age, such as breast, ovarian, and endometrial cancers. So this is the phase one study. It'll take about a year. Then the phase one B study will involve women who've had prophylactic mastectomy because they carry the breast cancer gene. After that, phases two and three will take even more time and money. And hopefully results are favorable. And within the decade, this could potentially be available. Yeah, I think in the last two years, we've seen how quickly the medical community has responded with a COVID vaccine. That certainly is the exception. It isn't the rule. You've been talking about this for two decades. Tell us a little bit about why it's taken 20 years just to get to this point. This is normal. Yes, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the way things happen. So why didn't this happen like COVID? Well, there are four people in Dr. Tui's lab. His research wasn't backed by a pharmaceutical giant that was given billions of dollars by world governments to create a vaccine for just one virus on a platform that was already created. He's had to follow the stringent rules and FDA guidelines, meaning all that red tape that the COVID vaccine was able to bypass, he has to deal with it. And he's been dealing with supply chain delays and his funding is coming from the Department of Defense. So there's another mountain of paperwork to go through. So his research is standard for what it takes to get a new treatment out of the lab and to the bedside. But again, this is still the very beginning. So we're still looking at years before this mm. could potentially be a standard treatment for people with breast cancer. So many more opportunities for you to check in with Dr. Dewey and his lab. <laughs> yes. And a big ray of hope, really. I know it still will be a while, but this is a major, major breakthrough. You know, a few years ago, he was published in the journal Nature, and it did show it was positive in mice. And when we saw that, we thought, okay, this is the, this next is how there's yeah the Humans. next step and uh, yeah. So now it's it's really great to see already one patient vaccinated. They're hoping to get another two dozen. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Monica. Sure.